Dobry den, guten tag, hola, hello. I am the Sarcastic Cleric, and we are back for another episode of Divinity Scarlet Sandals. It's been a rather slow progress lately trying to figure out this murder mystery, but let's see how far we can get this time. Hopefully we find something to work with. Uh. Okay, not gonna lie, I did not know that I could damage the ground. I should give that a shot at some point. See what I can manipulate with it. Okay, we're back in that one woman's basement. Kind of looking around here. Yeah, just making sure I didn't miss anything. It's not looking like it. Make your own skill book. Seriously, just need to find something that points to her husband's killer. I mean, there's a lot of evidence that says it was her. But she also has an explanation for everything so it wouldn't hold up in court. Greetings, Hunter. You claim to possess evidence that implicates Lady Esmeralda in the murder of her husband? Well, let's have and of course, Septimus is just sitting here flirting with her and well, that's she is definitely aggressive with him. Dearest Esmeralda, I never doubted her. So it was the knife was used for cooking. It was a dagger. I know you said it was a cleaver, but it was a dagger. Alas, that it is now used to slander his grieving widow. Oh well. Make sure I didn't miss anything upstairs. First got those moonstone star pebbles. I wonder if those are what I'm gonna need. Damn it! Remind me never to look in that chest again. Uh, pretend you didn't see me steal that pot. Patty cake? A whole book on patty cake. Is it much like rock, paper, scissors? Are we going to hold tournaments with patty cake? There's a lot of books, and of course I can't afford a single one. <sighs> there needs to be some way to make gold in this game. Why haven't I found it? lying around and I can't touch them because well I'm trying not to be a thief that pot doesn't count don't don't talk about it I'm sorry a favorite sheep 
Uh, I'm not really much for sheep. I, I thing I've never really thought about having a favorite sheep. Don't tell me if you hear anything about her. I plan on pursuing whoever stole her with my cleaver in hand. I wonder if I can question the herd to see who killed Jake. Plenty of business that way these days. Those miners must be preparing for a mighty great It's as probable as anything else, right? Have a nibble on my dear darlings all ground and spiced. Now that the herd's gone, old Bertie's just scratching by like a hen till the next She got rid of the rest of the herd. But one in particular, she wanted to cook and eat herself, and now she misses it. I mean, yeah. Makes sense to me. What have we here? A healer. Which of you is more? Excuse me. This is a private sick room. Who in the name of the seven do you think you are? Why are you all in a panic? I say, right this instant. Oh, I'm sorry. It's this task. I'm just Who am I to meddle with life and death this way? I'm an apprentice. I mean, meddling in life and death? That kind of goes hand in hand with fantasy games, especially if you play healers. You knew what you were getting into. So, wait, she can only heal one of her patients? What would you like to know? One of the brave few willing to traverse the trade route made by the undead. A young man, but excellent in matters of business. Before okay. A younger man. Braving the wilds. And nearly died out in the wilderness. And brought him here straight away. Quite the venerable staple of Sicea, Stephen. And recently blessed with his third grandchild. And this other guy, Stephen? Older gentleman, blessed with his third grandchild. Nearly everyone in Sicea is familiar with grinning. Oh, great. So, tell me about the healing stone that you somehow possess. Okay, a guy from a questionable merchant. Oh, a kindly abbot. Sorry. I still say questionable merchant. I myself was nothing if not skeptical of his claims, but something happened as he handed me the stone. And it instantly healed a small cut on my finger. I mean, maybe that's the extent of what it can heal? I'm guessing you actually tested it thoroughly before you got to this point? It's only good for a single use. You gotta be kidding me. And I guard it cautiously. So I have to make a I have got a moral dilemma here. Which of these two guys do I save? And which one do I let die? And this is ridiculous. There is no right answer here. No matter what, you're gonna come across looking like a jackass. Doesn't matter who you pick. Ideally, we should be able to save them both. I mean, I have healing magic. Can't I just cast my first aid spells? I have a water spell that heals people gradually over time. Why can't I use that? No, I've got to pick between these two guys. And of course, I'm arguing with myself over who I should save. And we all know how this is going to end. Time for another round of rock, paper, scissors, everyone. Let's see, what should my best starting choice be? Alright, time to sell the psych adults, everyone. When you deliver the news. I'll even loan his wife my favorite studded club. Well, that's off to a fantastic start. Sandals really wants to save the old man. Scarlet really wants to save the younger man. 
Of course, I was controlling Scarlet this whole time. So, like I said, it really doesn't matter who you pick here, you're gonna come off horrible. This is actually a very close game of rock, paper, scissors. And Scarlet pulls another victory. No, we'll do as I say. <laughs> we'll do as I say. Yeah, she definitely has leadership skills, doesn't she? Deciding everyone's fate with rock, paper, scissors. Honestly, it would be better if they just had their own skills and you just pitted them against each other. Don't get me wrong, rock, paper, scissors is nice, but... I don't know. And... her healing stone exploded. It was one of those star stones I've been looking for, wasn't it? Great, I took away her ability to heal. Your little reaction. Is that so? Well, I handled the That just made the situation all the worse, didn't it? I hardly knew the man in light. I was sure. Of course she's a <sighs> she's a suspect in Jake's murder. And the responsibility fell to me. So I gotta question her and uh I thought the mortician examined the corpse. And ending point were discernible. I examined the corpse and recorded what information I could. I feel no pleasure in bidding you farewell. I personally delivered the corpse the short distance to the mortician's house. As far oh, as I know, she examined it, then took it to the mortician's house. Quite normal. What? Why would you examine a corpse and then take it to somebody who's supposed to examine it and prep it for the burial? Suitability for the work. I have a passion for this work, you see. A passion to see things put in order from a flesh wound healed. I have a passion to heal people. I mean, that's fantastic. World needs more healers. Just play any MMO and watch how quickly you queue and you're a healer. And I did not mean to pick up that screen. But if one were to reduce the quantity of skull dust by a percentage of Celeron, perhaps the stability could be increased by as much as threefold. Oh, a source hunter. <laughs> Imagine that. Oh, a Quite source a hunter. Yeah. Of your kind I encountered, aren't you? Imagine that. Yes, the guy asking about everything a is a source hunter. Was brought to this town to investigate this murder. They said they were specifically sending a source hunter. And you're just now realizing I'm a source hunter. Oh, brilliant. Sorry, well, friend. she certainly possesses a critical eye and an exacting manner when it comes to making difficult medical decisions. I don't know what I, I expect you'll be. I'm sorry, you think she has a critical eye for determining horrible medical situations? Was that it? No, she she needed help to decide. Who gets to live and who gets to die? Because she couldn't decide, you know, who deserved their life. Mind you, I couldn't either, but time is of the essence. You either pick one or they both die. There is no right answer, but you need to save somebody. And she couldn't bring herself to do that. 
I've applied myself to that problem for two years and still haven't come a step closer to solving it. I declare it an act of the Almighty. Uh, and that have been around for years. Some events, Source Hunter, can be neither controlled nor understood. The undead have been around for years, but you decided to call the Source Hunters to investigate a murder and not immediately deal with the undead. I've been plaguing you for years. Legion's greetings, Hunter. So fair a lady I have seldom seen in all of Rivermont, my friend. And I have traveled more extensively than migratory birds do. She stands accused of murder. I wonder if it was Septimus who killed Jake just so he could get with Esmeralda. Steadfast will I guard her. Never will I waver unless absolute proof of I mean, the guy should be clearly her. worships her. And I hold no such proof exists. And Esmeralda, well... She, let's just say she got over her husband real quick. The hunter returns! I hope you are here to shop rather than sleuth. So, what piece of irrefutable evidence are you about to present me with this time? I guess I don't have any evidence. I mean, uh, <sighs> Starstone. I've never heard of such a thing. It's pretty clear you weren't the most faithful to him. Yes. But I'm guessing it wasn't easy to just get divorced in the fantasy world. Did something dangerous? You think it would be easier? Oh, this is all too much. I feel like I'm drifting from nightmare into nightmare. I suppose not everyone can have their fantasies fulfilled. I don't know. It just doesn't sit right. Mayor Cecil. What? Oh, hello again. Please tell me how I can help you during your investigation. Tell me about the Orc bar Librarian. Almost said Barbarian there, and she is not a Barbarian. My darling adopted daughter. My She is very well read, actually. Library when she was a girl. She quickly proved that the preconceptions we humans hold of orcs as savage beasts are patently false. If you're looking for something special, just ask. She knows oh, that's a fun concept of barbarian librarian. Gonna make a mental note of that. Future reference. That's right. Scarlet talks to animals. <laughs> okay, so the sheep ran away through the portal. That the portal that leads to the end of time. You gotta be kidding me. I'm starting to think I'm more in trouble than I'm worth here. Because I show up, and all kinds of crazy things start happening. Like, a healing stone explodes, I open up a portal to the end of time, I get recruited to a pyramid scheme of adventurers, and here's another person trying to recruit me for something. Okay. It's pretty clear you want something from me because you're saying they're trying to flatter me. And my word. What passion burns from your eyes. 
Please forgive my being forward. You are exactly who I've been searching for. But why? What do you want from me? What What are you enlisting me to? That I have. For nearly a lifetime, it seems. Well, I'm sure you must know what I mean. Like existence itself. Explorer's guilt? Like if you could only fill a certain void. Do you want me to become a cartographer? The right body, the right spirit. Together you could uncover new and I mean I'm not entirely opposed to the idea, but I'm got a full plane as is. Come, if ever we are to be united, we must truly entwine our fates. We must link our causes forevermore. Yes. You must join the Fabulous Five right away, as soon as time permits. You want me to join the Fabulous Five? We'll explore the, the people I agreed to join we'll basically as soon as I got into town. You want me to join them? You guys must have really lousy communication skills with each other. Ah, pointless chatter with strangers does so thrill me. How did you know? Please continue interrupting my drink, if you'd be so kind. I mean, he raised an excellent point there. Why do they allow you to go to random strangers and question them at the bar? I mean, sure, I'm investigating a murder, but at the same time, he's literally just there having a drink, and I have had nobody point me to him. Stop right there. Until you've received the captain's permission to enter, this door doesn't exist. Got it. Not exactly the friendliest bloke, the captain, is it? Well, your reward for getting your ear chewed off is a waltz through the town's finest magical... Okay, yep. Yeah. So I've got a free pass to explore this random room. Wait, this is the room where I was transported to the end of time. Everything we do seems to fortify your abilities. <laughs> I kind of want her to gloat over him. The team hardly enjoys being confused <laughs> with your massive wobbling head. That's right. Scarlet's on hearing the team. Sand Dolphin, you are second banana. No new attributes. Some ability points. Okay. So we've got a level up here. Okay, that's going to be kind of nice to have. Resistances to all kinds of things. Sooner or later, I'm going to have to pick up Aerothurge and Geomancer. Gain two extra skill points? Um, that sounds like a really good deal, actually. the effects of foods. I get the feeling that sooner or later I'm going to pick up that know-it-all feature. <laughs> Leech, you can heal yourself by standing in a pool of blood. What? I don't think you know how leeches work. Okay, where are my new skill points? Probably have to finalize it. Mm. 
Yeah, more than likely just have to finalize my level up if I want those two points. Yep. Okay. Definitely gonna want arrow surge. Cast wind and lightning spells. Huh. Kind of nice. Oh. Yeah, that's also really good getting deals from traders, considering how expensive everything is in this world. Hello. Moving things with my mind? Uh huh. Telekinesis it is. Alright. Scarlet, what can we give you? That could be useful. Make her a little bit stronger. Not as likely to get knocked down. Now I'm wondering if there's a retraining place so that I can make modifications. Uh, nah. I'm sure her healing skill will come in handy a few more times. What's this? Okay. The Duke of Feral is the world. It sounds to me I may have found our murderer in the Duke. He is definitely. Definitely thirsty for Esmeralda. And even mentions if if Jake was dead, he could be with her. Well, I think I have to go see what she has to say about that letter. Manner of finding our way back again. Sorry, I was talking over it. It was suggested that we go find Jake's body and examine it, but I'm not seeing it. It's definitely not still at the mortician. Wait, didn't they say that they found his grave recently dug up? Or am I remembering wrong? Still think Esmeralda has more more information she hasn't been telling us. Like who's this Duke? <sighs> Not a whole lot going on in this town. 
we've, we've definitely made some progress on the murder investigation. Pretty sure I found a lead here, it's just a matter of questioning Esmeralda about this Duke guy, seeing what she knows about him. Oh look, the healing spot. Can't talk to those guards. Okay, Cecil. I wonder if he knows anything about the Duke. Probably not. So everything else is classified as stealing, but not grabbing a candle holder. I know your plate is full enough to fill you for days. Potions to be muscle you, scrolls to entussle you. Seriously. What really bugs me is a town this big, all these people just standing around, nobody, nobody saw Jake's murder. Greetings, Hunter. You claim to possess evidence that implicates Lady Esmeralda in the murder of her husband? Well, let's have it. All right, Septimus, I've got news for you. Let me have a quick read. Wait. Oh. I mean, she had an admirer who wanted her to kill her husband. Then um, I think I just destroyed this man's world. Uh. Oh, don't worry. The hunter returns. I hope you are here. She's probably just going to keep playing with you anyway. So, what piece of irrefutable evidence are you about to present me with this time? Oh, don't put I mean, the letter is kind of incriminating, but it also points to another person as a potential murderer. A poorly worded passion. I did not echo in the least. Poorly worded passion. I mean, yeah, he was not the most articulate. Mind you, at times I'm not either, but I could definitely write a better poem than that. ...so-called evidence against me, and yet you've been trailing me like a bloodhound. People seem to want to believe I am guilty. All this evidence is circumstantial. I mean... ...it may yet lead to the true culprit. If you're charismatic enough, you could explain the way in court. I'm not gonna lie about that. You could easily convince people that... ...well... Yeah, everything you said up to this point. The knife was a butcher's knife, even though it was a dagger. Or the book was Jinx, even though it plans out a murder. Then again, I, I want to know more about the Duke guy. There is more to her than me. And now you want me to go back and talk to Evelyn. Because she was spending a lot of time with Jake. And Jake, while he was spending time with her, he was getting pretty abusive with you? Okay, you know what? This is a lot to take in. I think we're going to have to call it here. So, until next time, auf Wiedersehen, Nasletano, adios, goodbye everyone. <sighs> Hopefully next time we can uncover exactly what all was going on with this Jake who now seems like a total asshole. Legionnaires are highly trained soldiers.